Hey everybody, Kevin Purcell, Notebooks.com. I've got the HP Chromebook 14 here. We think this might be just about the best Chromebook that you can uh, buy on the market right now. One of the things we like about it is, as you can see down here, there's a SIM card slot. It comes with 200 megabytes of data per month on T-Mobile's data packet, data system. The problem is, in my area, T-Mobile is terrible. The best that I can get with T-Mobile is uh, uh, edge quality in my area, which is, you know, the old original data, which is sort of like barely dial-up speed. So I wanted to see if I could swap in an AT&T card. And guess what? You can. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. And uh, in order to do that, I'm going to bring out my iPad here. Now, with the iPad... What you need to do is there is a SIM card slot right here, and you can either use a SIM card tool or just a really stout paper clip and pop out that card. I won't bother doing that right now because I've already taken the SIM card out. What you're going to end up with is a micro SIM card. Now, the problem with the micro SIM card is it doesn't fit in this SIM slot. Uh, Instead, what we have is a normal size, a full-size SIM slot. But what you can do is you can get one of these little adapters. And these little adapters uh, come in a, a small package. We'll give you the link to this one from Amazon. Uh, you can pop your micro SIM from AT&T in there and slide it into the SIM slot. Now it'll only go in one way, uh, and uh, with this adapter it goes in like that. It's real simple to get in and out. It's exposed there, so there's no opener, opening or anything. You just have to use your fingernail and kind of push in on there, or you might want to get a screwdriver or something if uh, you don't have any fingernails. Now what you want to do before putting that SIM slot in, Make sure that you shut things down. So we're going to show you how to do that in Chrome. Now shutting it down is pretty easy. You just click down in this area. Here's the power button and you'll click on that and it will shut down the computer. So you put the SIM card in and then you're going to hit this power button. And notice how quickly the thing boots up. All right, so we've logged in to uh, our account on this computer, and now we want to make it work. Now, I've already got it set up, so it looks differently than it'll than what you'll see. Uh, but right here, you'll probably see uh, it'll be saying connecting to AT&T. Uh, go ahead and click on that, and press settings. All right, once you get to settings, you want to go to mobile data, and then select the AT&T. And right down here, what you want to find is this drop-down box. And you want to select the thing that says Laptop Connect. Now, I've already done it, so I don't need to bother. And then close. And what should happen is your mobile data should start connecting to it. If you want to test it, do what I've done here and disable your Wi-Fi. Um, by going in here and hit disable Wi-Fi and uh, that way it makes certain that it uses the AT&T network. Now notice what it says here I'll see if I can get in real close there it says H plus that's showing that it's using HSDPA plus which is not the fastest uh, LTE 4G connection it's uh, 3G speeds but it's better than Edge which is the only thing I can get in my neighborhood on T-Mobile and it's already on my AT&T contract. I used the, t the Slim that came out of my iPad and put it in here and it worked just fine. So I can swap between my iPad or this computer. Mostly I just leave it in here because I don't use my iPad, uh, my larger iPad on the go. I've got a, a mini. And so if you want to, you can leave it in here permanently or you can uh, do what some people do and swap them out. Works great. Uh, the speeds are pretty decent. Let me show you a speed test. Alright, so we're ready to go using uh, speedtest.net, hit begin test, it starts searching around, 
and it will begin the test. The ping time will be noticeably slow at 105 milliseconds, but we're getting fairly good download speeds. I've got pretty good AT&T connection in our area, and notice that, uh, wow, that hit 11.88. That's very good download. Uh, most places around my community, I'll see 6, 7, 8, something like that. Notice the upload is uh, hitting just around 1 megabit per second, a little bit over that. So that's pretty good speed for uh, for what we're doing, and I'm pleased with it. This has been Kevin Purcell with Notebooks.com, showing you how to use an AT&T SIM card in the HP Chromebook 14. Thanks for watching.